how to turn those ugly flaws into enhanced design features. Hola, woodworkers. Paul Carlson here, Small Workshop Guy. I'm aware that many of you out there never ever make a mistake, but for the rest of us mere mortals, we need the ability to fix our woodworking flaws. As you can see, I've got some ugly flaws that I just don't want to look at for the life of this workbench, so I need to find a fix. For a really, really small gap, uh, sawdust mix with glue would be the normal plan A. In this case, I'm going to go to plan B, which is to uh, even out my flaws and then replace them with little pieces of wood. So some creative chisel work to make large enough cavities for the new wood to fit into and then give it a try. In this case, you'll see that it was even much worse than the original problem. Take a look. This is wrong in oh so many ways, so let's go to plan C. Time to bring out the big guns, so I route out a really nice uh, deep and even uh, slot and then use my chisel to get that as fine-tuned as I possibly can. Very helpful to use a straight edge to aid your eyes in seeing whether or not you've chiseled some straight lines. Well, I still had a problem, so I kept working at it. Next, cut a slightly oversized replacement piece to go into that slot. It's a good idea to taper the edges so that it fits in, but then as you pound down, it uh, really becomes a tight fit. Probably not a good design to leave that piece sticking out four inches, so let's cut that puppy off. Now my other side was absolutely perfect, but yet I needed to have kind of a matching symmetry, so I went ahead and cut out a slot and put in a walnut piece on the other side as well. When you cut your replacement pieces, you don't want to try to make them exactly the right height because you might uh, underdo it. Better leave them a little bit oversized so that you can trim them down. Again, taper the edges so that as you pound down, it becomes a tighter and tighter fit. One of the most used tools in my workshop is my Lee Nielsen uh, low angle rabbit block plane. I'm going to use that to trim down my oversized uh, walnut replacements. Do that on the left side here and then sand it with 60 grit and then sand that with 80 grit and then kind of check it with water and raise the grain to see uh, how, how it looks. I like the way this looks. So the moral of the story is when you make a big flaw, don't hit yourself over the head with a chisel but just say, hey, look, that's an opportunity to improve my design. Small Workshop Guy, signing off. <laughs>